She co-hosts the talk weekdays here on CBS2, and tomorrow night you'll see her on 48 Hours. Joining me now is CBS News correspondent Natalie Morales. Thanks so much for being here. So happy to be here with you, Cindy. I feel Thank like you. I feel like one of those people. I've been watching you for years. I know. I've been watching. <laughs> when I lived in New York too for Aww. years too. So it's good to finally meet you. You do so many things, yes. but this is your first episode for 48 Hours. What does it feel like to be back out in the field? You know, I love being back out into the field reporting on stories involving victims and their mm. families and being able to hopefully bring some closure to these families. Um, this is a story that took 40 years for them to solve mm. and finally in the last two years they really put all the pieces together involving new DNA technology where they could finally get the killer of these two women and get justice. So that's what I loved about being able to report on a story that I know is significant and important for those involved. And why did you choose this particular story? Well because this one they cracked the case within the last two years mm. and the other thing is it was going to trial right as I started with the 48 hours team so we knew that they had a suspect, mm -hmm. he had been arrested, then it was just going through the trial process and to finally be able to be there at the end as well when we knew he was convicted for the, the crimes and for killing these two beautiful young women outside of Breckenridge. Yeah, we're looking at the pictures of yeah. them. Your story is on a cold case finally solved after mm -hmm. so many decades. The murders of two women and arrest decades later. Um, what I understand there was also a surprise twist at the end. Yeah, you know, what, what's incredible is, you know, all the twists and turns that led them to put all the pieces together. It turns out the killer, the night that he had killed both women, he was driving through a mountain pass and it was snowing outside of Breckenridge and it was a huge snowstorm. He got stuck. His truck was stuck and his, um, he, his, his lights were angled up and uh, he was able to flash SOS to an airline. A, a, a plane was flying overhead, spotted the guy. They sent a rescue um, to go get him. And Dave Montoya was the local fire chief, was the guy who met Alan Phillips there on the mountain pass. And it turns out they realized 40 years later, oh, I know that guy. I rescued him that night. And they put all these pieces together. It was just one more piece that confirmed to them that he was driving afterwards and, and had committed these crimes and it was just one more piece to put all of them into place and allowing them to to finally convict this guy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. In addition to all the wonderful your work you are doing, you're reporting, you co-host the talk. How's that going? The talk is amazing. <laughs> I you know, I love my team over there. We have a blast. Um, we also like to talk about deep issues as well. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a fun job, but it's also an opportunity to really kind of be on TV every day and, and talk about things that people are talking about, whether it's Taylor Swift tickets right, or you right. name it. We're we're talking about it. And what is it like to balance so many things. I mean, I know you have two boys, yes. and you're just busy, and it looks like bi coastal now. So, well, I'm, I'm more LA okay. still, but you know, whenever there's an opportunity, I will come back to New York, you know, like now. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, it's it's busy with with two teenage boys. One's in college, so I, I love my life though, and I, I love that you know I have the opportunity to be able to still work and still do these important stories too. So they know that mom has a has a big job and an important job, and um, so everybody's very supportive. So I'm lucky to have that you know family support behind me and it's just um it, I just have to share the story about we have a Natalie in our newsroom who's a desk assistant and when she found out you were oh coming on she was just like the sweetest. Oh, she said you're the reason she got into journalism oh my gosh. and I she said I speak Spanish she speaks Spanish or both their names are Natalie so you never we were talking about you never know. know the difference you make in the work you do yeah you know at, at CBS we have the if you see her you can be her campaign you ah, don't realize yes, you know yes the impact that you're making I'm just here doing my job but to know that in some ways I, I maybe touched somebody's life and got them interested in this incredible career you know it's su such a blessing and thank you Natalie for giving me a <laughs> hug and taking a picture with me definitely yeah. Natalie thank you so much and you good got luck it. thank you Cindy appreciate <laughs> it so much you can watch 48 hours every Saturday at 10 p.m. right here on CBS 2 and you can catch the talk weekdays at 2 p.m. also right here on CBS 2 we'll be right back